Patrick is a very successful businessman. He's the biggest feed uh, supplier in the whole of East Africa. And he has chickens that they eggs, over 24,000 chickens that they eggs, and he's moving to 100,000 to be providing eggs. Help me appreciate him. <clears throat> Next time I come to America, remind me to give you a testimony of chickens. I know some of you watched the dormitory chicken and the chickens that live in self-contained. I have dormitory chickens. Stand up, everybody. Let's give a God a praise in the house. Wow, help me appreciate the great worship we've had today. I guess you people, we need tomorrow to come with our dancing shoes. We will dance tomorrow. So come prepared. Make sure your heels are comfortable. Thank God in America you have carpet. Yeah, praise God. So tomorrow we were, we're going to have a great, great, great service. Make sure you don't sleep. Fellowship, local churches. We have uh, pastors here and uh, fellowship with them and make sure you go and when you go and they don't give you a chance say I have a testimony <laughs> don't sing lest you become like Virginia Mrs. Chapman don't sing just, just give you a testimony and tell them where you come from and what God is doing in your life I want to appreciate Dr. Ajay with your family what a blessing this family has been to me. I always look back and count myself such a blessed mother. Yes, we met, uh, we met in South Africa for the very first time, and I was speaking in Rema Church, and as you were saying, I was speaking in a women's meeting, and I kind of didn't like the meeting because the girls were talking girls' things, and I'm a preacher, so I was looking for, for an opportunity where you... Don't talk about all these things, you know, about your sleeping nightdress and all these things, and so, the size of your bra. I just wanted <laughs> something different. I just wanted something, you know, a women's conference, and I, when we're talking about, you know, all those things, and I said, I didn't come here for this, so. I got a bit disappointed, everybody now. The, so how many kids do you have? I had my royal I told her, any question they ask, answer them. Um, have you ever been somewhere and you found people who are not your type? All right. I didn't say anything yet. So I prayed. I prayed Prophet David. I asked God in South Africa to give me a tangible miracle so that every girl who came there for a conference to do girls talk, what they got for their birthday from their boyfriends, I said, Lord, do something that will change these stupid talks. And I prayed. Little did I know, 500 Kenyans show up in the service that night with a woman who had done an accident. Her spine broke three times. She's tied up. She's brought in an ambulance. She says, take me to the service. And the Kenyan community were told, you know what? This is not just a Kenyan thing. We have this here in South Africa. No, 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 she's our mother. You know how Kenyans are? And they said, we brought, they told me the story. I said, God, I ask you, raise this woman to the honor of your name. Dr. Gitao, let me tell you something. The woman says, strap, remove the straps on the seat. Because she, they had, she was kept straight tied. Those nurses know what they tie. People tied so tight. So they strapped. I said in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. She stood up, took the wheelchair, threw it away, ran back and forth. I tell you something, every blind soul, every deaf heart, 
revival fell. I was so grateful because all the girls who talked about boyfriends, bikinis, they came to the altar call so we can preach Christ. <laughs> Don't invite me for nonsense. Give me a microphone. You know, people want to talk funny things. People are needy. People have problems. Minister to the people. Women in women ministries. Give people Jesus. Don't give them all the rubbish of the hairstyle. If they need the hair, they can Google. You're not an, an advertising agent. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. I want a miracle. Amen. So that's where we met with Dr. Ajay. Little did I know that we're going to connect again in the United Kingdom. And Dr. Ajay, gosh. Virginia, do you remember one time we were so broke in the ministry and we were praying? <laughs> and we didn't have money. Mrs. Chapman tells me, Mom, we're trusting God for money. Dr. Ajay comes and bless us with 10,000 pounds. Just like this. He didn't know he, there was a need. Ah. It's so nice to have sons. It's so nice to have sons. And I'm so proud of my sons from every nation. Every nation. So I thank God so much. I honor you and respect you. 